say that I have a lot of video games would be an understatement. Now we're going to play them all. This is Silver's Amazing Game Reviews. Today, I spy fantasy. You gotta get the, the video off with a kicker. So, of course, we're gonna start off with the most obscure title ever found. Ever. Ever. Uh, yeah. So let's just take a look at this box. I spy fantasy. DVD game. No DV on DVD, and my favorite part, play on TV. Brain building games for kids. Great! A system finally for me! Mmm. So, yeah, ages six and up. I'm not six, of course. Scholastic. Uh, yeah, this is a CD. It's kind of cool. Uh, you notice it says copyright 2003. Hopefully the camera actually zooms. There we go. Right there. 2003 Scholastic Inc. All rights reserved. And then there's the freaking instruction booklet. <laughs> Basically all this tells you is using a remote control. Blah, 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 blah. Some of the stages. How to play. But one thing that I was aggravated by, which we won't be using... Is the freaking system for the NES to save passcodes? It uses one of those code things that you type in. And this is 2003, mind you. They could have just made a freaking save on it. Like normal people. Said you have to save this stupid code that you wouldn't even save because this game is crap, of course. So yeah, we won't be doing that. We will only be playing it once. Snap TV games, of course. And then there's the fact page, and my favorite part was this. Does Snap TV make any more DVD games for kids? And then I saw this. Done. 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 Of course, we're going to look it up. It states snaptvgames.com. As seen there. So, let's go. I'll load up this one, and then type in, uh, keep in mind this game was made in 2003, so, you know, snap, uh, T, V, so this was like, this was the kind of thing that you would see in Windows XP, probably. This, this is a really old site, of course, if it still works. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> Notice the first stop is Pokemon. Apparently, these people made rip-off Pokemon games. That's nice. It, uh, it, uh, promotes, uh, OK Go. OK KO, or what the, what the heck? I don't know. But apparently, Pokemon is... Find, okay, okay then. Apparently, this is a good idea. Pokemon! Find Pokemon today, shop! Pokemon at Target.com! Mmm! Gotta love Windows XP. Alrighty then. Let's uh, go in, uh, put the uh, CD in. First impressions, let's go. Perfect. Alright, this sucker's in. It's loading. Loading. I mentioned I'll be using this remote. The controls are this thing and then this thing. Look at that. That's a warning label. You can pause the video to read it. Apparently, you can't copy this. $250,000 if you copy this one, folks. <laughs> Ruining classic logos for you since 1998. That's really weird. Apparently, Sony, this was made by Sony, so technically... I spy fantasy. Whoa! Wow! So, yeah, uh... Apparently, Sony made I this... Do you, shut up. Do you Sh shut up. Shut up. No, I don't... Or learn how to play I spy. Stop. Thank you. Alright. 
So apparently Sony made this. So technically, because it's a CD based thing, it's their first console, though they didn't make any of these games, so, you know, it kind of doesn't count. I think. So yeah, uh, 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 what the heck? It's not working! Why isn't it working? Well, never mind. Literally, right after that, I just so happened to point the thing at the actual freaking CD thing, and then it played. So yeah, let's select a new game, because I'm never using that save. Stop taunting me with the freaking save. Alright, let's go to this spot thing. What the heck? Going to the beach? That doesn't make much sense. Apparently they took- they stole the entire plot of Super Mario Brothers from this. The princess is captured and enslaved in the castle! That's the stupidest ass thing. Let's go in. What the heck? Can we move anywhere? Oh yes we can. Let's go this way. I love the animations in this. It's cute. Somehow. Really all uh... What the heck? Come on. This is so weird. I don't want to save. Stop. And this is so eerie. Ugh, like, I always found I Spy games to be really eerie. What the? Did we come from there? Alrighty then. So, yeah, I guess you can uh, move this around, and that's how the I Spy thing works. I didn't get anything. <laughs> Cause I suck. All right. Uh, nope. What the heck did I even need to get? Wand made of gold. I spy a mouth hole, a scroll that is rolled. Well, that's not much of an indication at all. What the heck is down here? Oh, I found the made the wand made of gold. I found the word, uh, wizard. Look at this, I'm gonna highlight it now. You're a wizard, Harry. You always have been. You told me my parents died in a car crash! Ah! So, uh, yeah, this is a really creepy one. I don't know why, but this is really eerie and stuff without the, uh, music and stuff. So I'm gonna put on my own music from my own playlist. Oh yeah, by the way, I, this is a good time to mention all of the sprites and stuff and everything it belongs to original owners. I don't know, it's, you know, bobby bobby ba, YouTube copyright system, bobby bobby ba. All right, there we are. Of course, we need it from our own playlist. Of course, these are other people's videos now. So uh, yeah. I think that the thing that I have to do, there's number 10 there for some reason. Oh yeah, I found the empty, empty bottle. Did he just do a bottle flip? Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Oh, I'm scared! Wow! They invented bottle flipping before it was even... What have I done? How does this do anything that I found this crap? Did I get a key? I got a key. Yay. Wow! Can I move now? Oh, there, now I can move. That took a while. There's a lot of creepy stuff here. Look at that face. See that face right there? Oh crap, it went away. Alright, so I don't know wh why we were trying to go there because, you know, there's no woman in there. Let's uh, leave this one, if you can even leave hey guys, it. I'm Carly Kloss, and I just created my own Shut up, Carly Kloss. Please don't ban my a bunch of stuff, though. This music doesn't fit. Okay, here we go. 
That's good. All right, so let's go home. Let's see what the other ones are like, because that one's boring. Okay, look at this crap. See the arrow thing that I'm moving? Apparently, you have to scroll it by this. Like, you would think that when you're at this moon thing, you can go down. Look at this, I'm clearly pressing the down button. You can't, you can't go down to the thing. And when you're over here, when you're, wait, where the heck did the arrow go? Oh, there we go. When you're over here, you can't just press right. It, it won't do anything. It goes backwards instead of forwards. So it goes up to the, the Saturn thing. That's crap. So yeah, let's explore this one now that, now that I'm done with my rant. To find it, read my book. So yeah, yeah I'm kind of catching that this is kind of the same idea the entire way through. That's kind of boring. Let's just go to the freaking octopus. Treasure! Let's give us the... What is this gonna... Oh. Where did all the treasure go? Read my book and you will know! Mmm! Is this a key? Is this a good one? I spy two anchors. Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. One anchor. It's gonna be some odd place for an anchor though, isn't there? Alright, that did nothing. Oh, I see the other anchor. Right there. So yeah, it's kind of all the same idea. Not much of another... This isn't much of a, uh... Differency. That's a weird animation. A hand in... A key in a hand. See, that's just really weird. Three lost coins. I can see them. That's one. Here's another one. Two so I'm catching the idea that there's only three of these worlds. Hopefully the uh, space thing has more in uh, store of us. We need to find one more coin. Is this it? Yep, alright, we finished that stage. This is boring, 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 boring. I'm catching the fact that these are all basically the same exact games. I'm kind of actually wondering... This is weird. Stop. Thank you. Alright. Is that a book? Did we, did we? You are serious? So it's a pages? Wow. So apparently it's the same exact thing. Just for the other one you needed keys. And for this one you need pages. Dumb. Boring. All right, let's see what the other one final has in store for us. Right. I catch that this game is for six years old kids, and I played this game probably when I was five. So, you know, gotta consider that. Put that into play. There's only one way for me to test this, really, though. And I'll show you that in a second. This is gonna be the same, isn't it? There's gonna be a few bottles, and then we'll need a bunch of bottles and crap. I mean, there's different areas to explore, so... Yeah. So... Yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna need a little bit of a... An experiment. You know? It's kind of stuff. So... I'm not the demographic for this game, and that's obvious. 
and that's why I'm calling in my younger brother. All right. Sorry, I said you can't talk. You can talk. Just don't say my name or your name, or else you'd be in trouble. So what do you think so far? You get I spy. So. Say hi. Hi. All right, so can you tell what to do? Look for a toothbrush first. Just a toothbrush or a plane or a sock, all right? Look for a plane or a toothbrush or a sock. I already see one. Do you know how to control it? See this little square? Point it directly at the VCR. Point it directly there. See, uh, like that. Is the Can you tell where the sock is? Uh, see, move the... Okay, so use the arrows to move it around. To move the, um... I see the toothbrush. You, where is it? It's on this. Move it. Move around to get to the toothbrush. Ooh! Press A. Press the button right here. Oh, you have to point it at the VCR. A toothbrush. You got it, Asher. Find a sock now. Do you like it so far? Do you need to find a ducky? No, there's no ducks. Do you need to find a heart-shaped rock? Yes. Uh, so, yeah. I see, I see it. Find two stolen boots. Find two boots. See the boots, Asher? Yes. So go to them. Oh, yeah, point this at the VCR. All right. So point it like that. And then you can move it. I'll just use the controller for you. Point to where the uh, thing is. Am I on it? Yes. All right, then let's click on it. That's what? one of the boots. So that's the other one, right? Yes. All right. Try and find the sock now. Where's the sock? Okay, so you use these to move around. Those are the boots. Two stolen boots. I know, you said that. Alright, so... Where's the sock? Uh, Can you find a sock there? Yes. Where? You go left. Left? No, right. No, that's left, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. And there. then press A? There. Yeah. Great. You did it. A sock. And then, can you find heart a heart-shaped rock? Yeah. Down. Uh, wait, wait, wait. All right, down. Left. Left. There. Ooh, good job. Do you want to play a little bit more? So you have to, for once, it's changing up the gameplay. You can zoom in 10%. And you have to find them on different screens. Still not very innovative, though, is it?
Alrighty then. Uh, I guess not more el much else to see about it. So let's go back. In the end, Asher, what did you think of it? What did you What did you think of the game? It was fun. That's nice. You said my name. Never mind that. Well, there you have it. That was officially the actual game. I Spy Fantasy. If you would uh, somehow like to purchase the game, it is on eBay for about, uh, it's about $4.99. That is the version I have though. I believe that there is a cheaper version that was made in 2009. Can't believe they re-released it though. Like seriously, DVD players were starting to become like obscure in favor of Blu-ray. I think. Yeah, just don't go by my judgment. Uh, yeah, but that is officially that video. Thank you for sticking around. I will see you on the next occasion. Bye-bye.